right. Going back to my directions. With the chart still active, I'm going to click a button called Switch Row and Column. Now, my chart is active. I can even make it a little bit longer so that I could see things a little bit more clearly. There's a button under Chart called Switch Row and Column. Now look at my x-axis right here. And I've done number 11. Next, number 12. I'm going to filter the item or campus field to include only personnel. Go up to the top, click on the down arrow that appears right there, click on filter. Click on select all so that nothing is selected and I'm only going to do personnel. If you see that, just see yours. And now you will notice that it only displays the personnel. Everything else that was there on that chart is no longer being displayed. Now we're going to remove that filter. Click on the one with the funnel. Click on filter. Click on select all again. The minus sign there. And click OK. And now you'll see that everything comes up. Once again. I'm going to switch the row and column again in number 14. Again, go to your table or go to your chart to make it active. Click on chart, switch row and column. In the main campus column, create a filter that includes only items that are over $200,000. That's a two with five zeros and no comma. Go to the campus area. Go to filter. And you pick the ones that are over 200,000. That's 150 and you click OK. Again, if this message comes up, just see your changes. And these are the things that are the big ticket items, the mail servers and the personnel. 